Hello to the person watching this. Today I'm gonna be showing and discussing a few things I wish I knew when I started learning After Effects. Hopefully you'll learn something, or maybe you won't. Anyways let's get started. So Instagram constantly nukes the quality of edits. Even though my quality is still bad, I wish I knew these tips when I started. First is sharpening. Sharpening really helps give it an HD look? I don't know. But I usually put it between 20 and 40, depending on what show and what the quality the original clips are. Now you can add brightness and contrast but I personally don't like it for colorings sometimes. I usually use exposure and put it between 1 and 2. I feel like I'm not qualified to give this advice because my colorings aren't the best at all, but maybe it'll help someone. Depending on your style sometimes brightness goes a long way, even if it's just a little. You can use grad exposure or spot exposure, either works. Pop is also something people usually add. But I don't really like how it looks for my edits. However, depending on your style you might like it. Try to stay away from haze, but if you really want to add it, keep it between 10 to 16. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about shakes and graphs. I use Twitch for shakes because if I use any other plugin, it simply makes it look choppy and weird. I've literally watched so many tutorials on how to use S Shake, but mine always end up coming out horrible. Anyways. The Twitch plugin is already meant for you to have harsh shakes, so putting the numbers up too high will make it look choppy. Basically what that means is to put your Twitch shakes on a decent number, not too high or low. And now this is a tip I really wished I learned sooner. If you use blur emote curves, your graphs can't be the same as they usually are when you use scale. If you make the graph too close together, your zooms will look really fast. So you have to put them decently far apart. I think everyone learns about nulls at some point in time, but honestly when I first started using After Effects, I thought only AMV editors used nulls. But nulls help you do more than one transition without constantly pre-composing it. When you pre-compose, it deletes all the effects and plugins you added beforehand. But if you just add a null, it doesn't erase all the previous work you've done. It just makes things easier. Some people say nulls also help make your transitions more smooth. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully in the future I can mention more things I wish I learned earlier on. But until then, thank you for watching and I hope this helped someone in some way.